the YouTube this man spilled dog. You know, I uh I forgot about something. You know, the last time Fondura was in the ring, he got knocked out. You know, and uh I had forgot about that. I forgot that was his last fight and Mendoza fight, you know, he got and he got clipped good in that fight and uh shit Tim Zoo, that's a hell of a first fight back from a knockout, uh you know. Maybe Sebastian Fondora is just that uh, mentally strong, but usually he'll give you a little softer touch than this coming back off a knockout. Uh, I don't think they meant to throw him in there like this. Uh, this could come back to haunt him in a bad way. Uh, like I said, I thought he had had at least one fight since the Mendoza fight, but I realized he didn't. Uh, this could be this 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 change everything for me to some degree because what happens when he get clipped and get caught is it, you know will he panic you know uh, it's a lot of stuff that we won't find out until he get in the ring again uh kind of similar uh and see like Earl Spencer the referee stopped his fight uh Fondura got Fondura got knocked out last time you know he sat there and couldn't get up you know uh and that uh, that's gonna that that might play a big uh, part in this fight. That might be why Zoo took this fight like that. Cause I was a little bit wondering, damn man, uh, Zoo got to be hella confident to take this dude uh, as a replacement fight. But this dude just came; he just got knocked out. And I mean, in a in a, in a pretty vicious knockout. I mean, uh, he got caught with a good left hook, right hand. Uh, but to me, it was the left hook that really did it. The right hand was just uh, window dressing. Uh, that left hook had clipped him, you know. And uh, I don't know, man. You know, we are gonna see. I, I have to give. You know, I have. I have a lot of respect for him if he come back in his very next fight after a knockout uh, and 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 win this fight. You know, uh, I mean, that'd be saying a whole lot. Don't y'all remember how Roy Jones fought after he got knocked out by Tarver? It took him a couple of fights, I think, to trust himself getting hit with punches. And uh, when you worry about getting hit, you end up getting hit. And that's what happened. That was that was Roy's problem for a couple of years after that knockout. Uh, just using one example, you know, uh, Sugar Shane Mosley, after he got that beat down by Vernon Forrest, he never was the same again. I mean, he, Vernon completely completely changed the way he fought from for the rest of his career i mean you know a knock uh, uh a loss can do a lot and a knockout can do even more you know especially when you had no time to clear your head and you know in between that knockout really you know uh you know I, that's the last thing i remember seeing is him sitting on that floor uh against mendoza uh so now I make now I, I now I get a a little bit more sense of what the zoo was thinking about when he took this fight now because one thing zoo know he gonna be able to touch this dude and the last time somebody touched him good he went down you know uh so zoo has already beat Mendoza if I ain't mistaken so I know in zoo mind he probably said he know he gonna be able to uh go in here. you know he's Zuna felt Mendoza power already, and it didn't bother Zoo, uh, and it took Fundora out. So, I mean, you know, it's this still should be a good fight, but uh, you know, I'm on, I, now I'm, I'm real interested to see what Fundora looked like in the first couple of rounds and the first time he get hit real good. That's what I want to see how how he react when he get caught with a big punch in there. Uh, that's going to tell you a whole lot because sometimes them ghosts still be in your head, you know, uh, after uh, after that type of knockout like that, you know. So, you know, hopefully he'll work through all that. You know, uh, he took the fight with uh, Zoo. Zoo t I understand why Zoo, Zoo took the fight now. Uh, and I got to say, Fondura, he looked, you know, I, in all his interviews and stuff, though, I got to say he looked calm and relaxed. He don't look panicked. He, he he looked like he uh he like he just uh you know grateful that he got this uh got got the opportunity to uh be fighting for these belts like that after him uh slipping up and get and and having 
you know, in, with that knockout, you know, and uh, I would have felt more comfortable had he slipped up and lost to by decision than getting than losing by knockout. Especially finna go, and you, you know, you just got knocked out by a dude, and now you're going in with a big puncher. You know, this it could be a recipe for disaster. We'll see. You know, uh, but uh, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.